Good morning. Happy Wednesday. It's kind of a threatening morning. It's supposed to rain around noon. Hopefully I'll be long gone by then. Um, you're standing... I know this is a confusing <coughs> image here for you to absorb, but uh, this whole area here is an apple tree. Uh, you might be able to see in one apple here. I, I wish I had filmed this segment when it was blooming. Um, anyway, it it's a it's an incredible apple tree. Uh, first of all, it's flat on the wall, which is called a spellier. And uh, also, each branch is a different type of apple. I think there are six different kinds here. We've got Gala, we've got Fuji. Here's uh, Yellow Transparent, Macintosh and yellow delicious and down here uh gravenstein i don't even know what a gravenstein is <clears throat> anyway they produce apples in fact that is a gravenstein growing right here and right here uh can you see that can you see this um so uh normally a spellier uh, apple trees are growing uh sort of like jesus on the cross they're like <laughs> Uh, and I, it always bothers me to see those because they, they look tortured in some way. I'm not religious. Um, <clears throat> so what I did with this is something a little softer. Uh, it's a heart shape. Isn't that romantic? Be still my beating heart. Um, if you saw it dead on, you would see that the branches do this. Uh, in the winter time, it's much more apparent. <clears throat> now, uh, caring for apple trees is a whole subject. So here we go. Uh, first of all, uh, feed them twice. Um, my favorite food for apple trees is Job's Fruit Steaks. Not a product endorsement, just a great product. Uh, it's a hammer in steak. It's like, like a carrot. It's big. And you hammer it in uh, to the ground, maybe four around the bottom, um, in early spring when it's just starting to leaf out. And uh, then again, when the fruit are pretty large, um, give it again another four steaks um, to make those fruit nice and big. So that's my uh, feeding regimen for apple trees. Uh, also, uh, when, they, when they're in this stage um, and there are clusters of small apples, uh, you're supposed to go in, you're supposed to, I suggest, you go in and you pull off the weakest of the apples. So here we have four, and I'm going to grab this one. Uh, you can see it there. Um, and uh, here we have five, and I'm grabbing two really crappy looking ones that are already falling off. And uh, let's see now. Anyway, um, you get the idea. Also, uh, these trees are prone to aphids at this time of year and they're shooting out new growth and the new growth will not produce apples because it's only the flowers that produce apples so the new growth which attracts aphids can be cut off I don't see any aphids yet but it wouldn't be surprising rising if I saw them next week. So we get rid of as many of their homes as possible. Give the whole plant a flatter habit and allow more light into the fruit. And uh, I would probably give this a light, in fact, I will later, give this a light spraying of Safer Soap, uh, which is a very easy to use spray insecticidal soap. Here we have um, what looks like caterpillar. So we chop that off in case it wants to eat some more. Hungry caterpillar. That looks pretty good. Uh, now, I don't know about other apple trees. I, I don't know a whole lot about apple trees. 
Um, but I do know this apple tree has suffered in the past considerably from scale. And scale, hmm, I'm going to have to bring you over here. Give you a close-up look here. Ooh, traveling camp. So right in here, there's little seed-like markings. Some of these are natural, but some of these, like that one there, is a little bug. And the bug's in a hard shell. They're impossible to get rid of. Um, in fact, the best treatment for them is in the middle of the winter, uh, treating them. Let me just make sure you're getting a good view here. There we go. Treating them um, <clears throat> with... Uh, what's it called? Um dormant oil and dormant oil is only for desperation okay which this was and probably still is uh, I, I do see evidence here of scale uh, even though this was treated in the winter with dormant oil um, wait we got lots of problems <laughs> so dormant oil you soak the entire plant in the winter before it even starts to leaf out and it suffocates the scale bugs um, hopefully it worked and I, I really won't know uh, now they say that they say uh, I believe that uh, at a certain point I think it's when the forsythia bloom no it's when the crocosmia bloom when the crocosmia bloom uh, that's the time that these little guys hatch. So you do have another opportunity to attack the plant with insecticidal soap um, right around when the crocosmia blooms, which is end of May, pretty soon. Okay. Uh, so, what else do I have to tell you about the apple tree? Food we've gone over insecticidal soap I think I was in the middle of telling you it's 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 pretty easy to use stuff yes it is it's cheap it's easy to use in fact I buy it in a concentrate and the bottle of concentrates about this big and it probably makes 20 spray bottles worth of soap and you soak the plant totally uh, don't inhale it but it's less it's less poisonous than fungicide as far as I know um, still don't inhale it and uh, yeah, a couple more new growths here. Okay, I think this video is petering out. See you tomorrow.